Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Eric from the team at Pangolin. Today we're going to walk through how to join a super farm and then how to get out of that super farm if you'd like. So we're starting off in Bifrost Wallet. I already have SDude and SGB in my wallet. We're gonna join the SGB SDude super farm. If you don't have SDude in your wallet, you can walk through our swap tutorial on the YouTube channel, figure out how to buy SDude. So the first thing we wanna do now that we have those tokens is head over to apps. I'll click Pangolin, I have bookmarked. If you don't have a bookmark, make sure that you type in app.pangolin.exchange. If not, you can always go to our official Twitter accounts or Discord or Telegram and ask us for the official link. It'll ask us to connect to Songbird Network, and now we are in. So if you click at the top right, that menu button, and then we'll head to the Pool and Farm tab. So it may take a second for it to update, but once it loads, we can scroll down and we find SGBS dude. You can see it has the super farm tag, average APR, and the total amount that's already in there. It also shows you on the right that the rewards are in PSB and S dude. So oop, we want to click this add liquidity button, and it'll show us uh, how much SGB and how much S dude I have. I know you have to put in the exact amount, so like equivalent and USD for each. I know I have less in USD amount and S dude than Songbird, so I'm just going to hit max there and it'll put in the equivalent amount for SGB on the left side. So underneath you'll see that it has the USD value $11, my share of the pool, which is 0.03%. That just means by creating this liquidity, the amount that I have is 0.03% of the entire pool. And if it's your first time, it'll ask you to approve before you supply. I've joined before, so all I have to do is hit supply. It'll tell me what I'm gonna receive. PGL is the name for our liquidity tokens. So I'll receive 3,995 of those at 0.0255%. Cool, and we're gonna confirm and enter this. And our transaction is submitted. So it may take a few seconds. Awesome. Now that uh, the liquidity has been added, it gives us this option that's very quick to add to farm. If we, you don't click that for some reason, it'll still show you this farm button. So what we did was create liquidity tokens but we have not staked those in the farm yet. So when you click farm, it'll give you the option that automatically defaults to 100%. You can choose smaller amounts if you want, but today we'll do 100% of our liquidity tokens. So the dollar's worth is $11.32, and it shows you the estimated APR. Uh, if you haven't done this before, there's an approve button. I've already done it, so I just need to click deposit. It'll take me here to confirm everything and that transaction has been submitted. Awesome, so now that that has been added to the farm, we can scroll up to the top. It defaults and shows farms that you're in at the top of the page, um, and it gives us a few, a little bit of information here. It just says we've successfully staked, and the APR will start at zero. The longer you stay in the pool, the rewards will change based on that. Um, that's one thing to note with SAR, it's similar to single-sided staking. You start at 0%, and then over time, your APR will change based on how long you've been in and then how long all the other members of the farm have been in. And there's a few things you can do. You can compound when you have rewards. So compounding will create a position in the SGB PSB farm. So since you're earning rewards in PSB, you can just take SGB, add it to those rewards, and then it will create LP and then farm those tokens as well. Uh, it's important to note that if you do that route with compounding those rewards, uh, if you ever want to claim your rewards or remove rewards from the SGB PSB farm, you'll first have to remove them from this farm. Now that we've gone all the way through creating the farm, I'll show you how to get out of the farm. So if you want to withdraw your total stake, also you can scroll through this and it'll see your stake compared to the total stake, which is great. Uh, you can also add more if you want. But if we want to remove from the farm, we can just click this remove button and it'll give you the breakdown of withdrawing and claiming. And then it'll let you know that if you remove any more, your APR goes to zero, so you won't be earning any more uh, rewards. So let's go through that confirmation real quick. Awesome. So it can be a little confusing when you get here. Um, you can see it's still showing I have a balance, but it takes a few seconds for it to go all the way out. The next step will be to remove our LP or to unpair our LP tokens that we put together. So if we X out of here, where we wanna go is to this menu and click your pools. So now you can see our unstaked LP tokens show up in your pools. Um, it was $11.32 worth in the pool tokens. You can just click remove here 
um, and it will allow you to, you have to approve first, and it'll ask you to confirm the signature request. And then once you've approved that, you can just click remove. Great, and now all those tokens should be removed. So in essence, that's how you take S student SGB, create LP with it, stake it in the farm, and then how to unstake it from the farm and how to unpair that LP. So if we go back to our main dashboard, Perfect, we can see that our Songbird and SDude are back in our wallet. Uh, we will do another tutorial on compounding your farm that's a little more in depth to give you more information on how to compound the rewards you earn. But that's all for today. If you have any questions, you can find us in Discord. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.